Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger, Ashford Asylum, Suicidal. So we got, I uh, got, uh, got some more, some more, uh, novel talk to do today. Just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. So, as, uh, as I've mentioned before, I read, uh, I read a lot of Chinese night, light, night, night novels, light novels, whatever they're called. Um, and I don't know if you guys ever read, uh, like, uh, translated media ever uh any kind of like fan translated media in particular um thing is is sometimes the translators change and then the way that they interpret various like character names and places and and all these kinds of things change as you as you go and and uh sometimes even character names can change because like a new translator comes in they're like so the old translator got it wrong and it wasn't snow crystal, but actually fire blossom. So we're just going to start using this now. Like I have no idea. I've been using snow crystal for like you know eight thousand chapters here. What you can't just change it to fire blossom now. It's a totally different thing. Um, uh, but they do it anyway because you know that's that's their thing. They want to remain as accurate as they can, and I get it. But um, oh, it's so it's so annoying sometimes when the when the translators change, and then they uh, they get like names different and stuff to to like translate it to English, and I'm just like, all of a sudden, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> it's all different. Anyway, anyway, I like Ashwood Asylum. Can you break this? Oh, you totally can do that, sick. Uh, no, screw you, boss. Hmm. Yeah, I've never actually paid attention to Ashwood Asylum as I walk around. I do like the map. I think it's a fun map. But I've never like paid attention to the details on the map, you know. But it is it is like it, it it's an asylum, you know. It's 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 an asylum. It's exactly where I belong. I didn't really care about all. Oh. I was about to say, I didn't really care about uh, killing him, I just wanted to stop him from falling on my head. Didn't, didn't work so much. Did not work so well. Remember, th this map, for some reason, it always brings out my, um, my darkest emotions. I feel like whenever we play on this map, I'm always being negative. It's the map, you know? It's just, it's a dark map, it's a, uh, it's a... Spooky map. I don't know if I've gotten all of these on this map before. You know what? That's probably an achievement I gotta do. Let's wander around and, and see if we can't uh, find them as we go. We're not gonna be making a point of uh, leaving anything alive to do it, but like I'll wander around and as we uh, as we kill things wandering around, we'll uh, we'll we'll shoot those. Yeah, sure. Sure. Why not? You know. I don't really want to look up the guides on these, because you know you can go and you can look up. Uh, that's probably one right there, right? Yeah. So it's not the same thing, eh? That's weird. That's gonna be brutal. Um. I don't really want to look up the guides for these. I want to find them myself, because I just I think it's fun to go searching around and stuff. There's definitely one in here. There always is when you when you have something like this. There's always something in there. There, there is always, okay? I'm being 100% sincere. There's definitely some kind of a, a thing in here somewhere, right? There's got to be. Tell me they didn't put anything in there. Really? Really? Bull, man. I call, I call BS on that one. There's definitely got to be something in here, though. Up on a rafter or something? My worst subject. You think? Glad you made it back. Don't bleed on anything. Where do you where do you think it is? I'm not gonna hit uh, the go button on that just yet. We're gonna we're gonna hold up and just try and take a peek around, see if we can't spot any uh, anything that doesn't seem like it belongs necessarily. You gotta try, right? You gotta try. And they did a good job hiding these ones, because uh, I would have expected to find more than just two by now, honestly. Break 
time's over. Get back to I definitely would have expected to find more than just two. Normally not this well hidden. Ah, there's another one. Probably not another one around here anymore. Hello, dude. Goodbye, dude. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Anything in here, perhaps? Maybe. I don't know, man. Probably something on the fountain here. Maybe something even in there. I don't know, man. I want to find him, though, because this, this, I feel like there's an achievement here, okay? That I don't have. I mean, there is an achievement. I just, I don't think I have it. I don't play Ashwood Asylum. I mean, nobody really votes for Ashwood Asylum in, uh, in multiplayer maps, so nobody would have done it, and I definitely have never personally shot them all, so... I think that, um... There is, there is definitely an opportunity for an achievement hunt going on here. Should, uh, should I want to? Which I'm not sure I want to. Just yet go for... Oh my. That's spooky. Not sure I want to go for a uh, proper hunt just yet, you know? Because that's a, that's a commitment. That's a commitment there. I'm kind of doing it though, aren't I? Yeah, I am kind of doing it. Anyway, um... It's, it's, you gotta keep an eye on There's like a lot of details in this map, dude. Oh, there's another one right there. I see it, dude. I see it. Don't think I don't, because I do. I hate this. I saw it, man. He just won't let me shoot it. I bet I saw it. Don't think I didn't see it. Okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna pop it right here. You know, we'll leave you alive for a moment. As we, uh, you know what? Screw it. Siren, you get to live. Congratulations. You live. I'm hunting, uh, I'm hunting down some skulls and, and stuff. Okay. We're hunting. I'm committing. We are committed to finding these skulls. Because this is an achievement I don't have. I'm 100% sure about that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Why not? Why not? It's a good opportunity to get a little bit of uh, an achievement done. Sure. It's got to get done eventually anyway, right? It's got to get done eventually. It's kind of hard to keep an eye out on all these things. So there's like... Ooh, I thought I saw something in there. I thought I saw something. I, I didn't see that. That's not what I saw. To be clear, that's not what I saw. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take credit for that one. Siren, watch your ears. Yeah, yeah. I know. There's a siren. Don't worry. We're keeping. We're keeping it moving. Staying. Uh, staying on the move. Not standing still for for too long. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. Just close that. You'll get stuck there for a moment. Hey. Alright. Anything over there? Uh, we've already kind of taken a peek through here, right? Have we? Have we? No, not this one. This is the other one. Aha. Uh -huh. And that's an achievement. Alright. One more achievement down. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not bad, anyway. Heck yeah, dude. There's probably one down there, right? Yeah. I, f I felt it in my bones, dude. I felt that in my bones. Deep in my bones. I was like, yeah, no, they're, they're, they would... Look, if I was going to be hiding something, I'd hide one down that long hallway. And you know what? The developers thought the same. So, Basically, what I'm saying is hire me. Uh, I can hide the collectibles for you. I know where you hide collectibles. I know how you do it. I understand the logic to it. There wouldn't be one back there. It's a bloody strike! Kill it while it's stunned. No. How about I run away while it's stunned? Oh, there's we haven't even looked over here at all. Definitely gonna be stuff in here, right? Probably something on the other side over here. But we don't really need to 
to worry about that anymore because we're done. There might even be cold, something up on I'm that. Golden. Sometimes they put stuff outside of the map. You can see it, but... Oh, there'd definitely be something up on the roof. There'd definitely be something up on the roof at some point, right? Somewhere up there? I just want to see it. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of dudes following us right now, though, so we're going to have to kill them off. And you know what? Maybe in the uh, driver's seat or something like this as well. It's another spot that uh, they like to hide things in is inside uh, cars and vehicles and stuff. Inside like buildings like this too. I would definitely put something up on top of the roof if I were them. It's a great place to hide it, man. Can't believe there's nothing on top of the fountain. That's what really gets me. That's like the spot to put something, you know? It's perfect. They didn't even do it. Were they, were they thinking right when they uh, when they made these collectibles? I don't think they were, honestly. I don't think they were. I, I think they were uh, they were having a bad day. Didn't even put one on the uh, didn't put one on the roof. Didn't put one. I mean, we have one on the like side of the building, kind of, but nothing up on the top there. Like, really? I would have put something way up there. You know, get your sharpshooter out so you can pop it. Heck yeah, man! I would. You know, that that's something I would do if I were a, a map developer. Absolutely, I'd be putting things in spots that really only a sharpshooter could hit. There'd be enough. You know, throughout the map that uh, anybody could get it. But there'd just be a couple little bonuses, you know? A, little, a couple little bonuses, just for funsies, right? Things in uh, in spots that uh, really only the sharpshooter is going to be able to, to kind of shoot. I think that would make for some good fun, personally. I think so. I would also hide one in here, for sure. So how many people are gonna be looking up in like this corner, you know? That flesh pound didn't know what hit it just now. Very nice. So right, was there one over here? Dude, I was wrong. How pathetic can I be? Bonjour. May as well just like end the run now. Cause like just Rock and roll. What's the point? You know? What's the point? Anyway. Anyway, I'm just mad because um, I don't have the right blanket. I tried to grab my bottle of water, but it's not here right now. I don't have the right blanket. I've got a. Uh, I have. I have three blankets, so I have one heavy blanket. I have one light blanket, like a sheet. Not even. A, not not a blanket, really. Just the just the sheets. Um, and then I have a, uh, a heavy blanket, like a proper blanket blanket. One that you might see on like uh, a couch somewhere or something like that. And then I have a, uh, a like a throw, which is uh, also quite warm, but it's, it's, it's not a full blanket. It's just a throw, so it's quite small. Um, so I have the, I have the light blanket, the heavy blanket and the, the throw. Now, Light blanket, really, really great in the in the summertime because it's very, very light. Um, I'm able to to put it on. It doesn't really keep me warm. There, there is it's it's merely material that that keeps me restricted. It doesn't it doesn't impede any kind of like thermal. Well, it does, but like not much. Uh, any kind of like thermal stuff. Okay, it's 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 pretty. Not, not, doesn't affect me. It doesn't make me hot if I'm wearing it. Like, take, putting, putting the blanket on, putting the blanket off. Not gonna do anything, okay? Heavy blanket. Really, really nice in the winter. Or in the, like, fall and early winter. Um, because it's. Well, not really fall, but like early winter is what the, uh, the, the heavy blanket's used for. Um, because it's nice and warm. 
and uh, it keeps it keeps me warm throughout the winter. And then the uh, the medium blanket, the throw, is really 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 nice for the fall because like lately it's just it's, sometimes it's a little bit too cold for the uh, for the light blanket, but it's not like cold enough for the heavy blanket. So I'll just kind of throw the throw on on top of my uh, my light blanket, and that makes it very nice and cozy and perfect for for a lot of uh, temperatures. Um, and then in the winter time when it gets like really really cold and even my uh, like you know it's like minus five minus six kind of territory even my uh, my heavy blanket which is not like a quilt or anything it's not like a, a comforter or whatever it's like it's just a normal blanket that's just relative to a sheet heavy um, uh, but it's uh, like like a snuggy almost that kind of thing another one right there um, like a snuggy almost, but anyway. So I, I also put on the uh, the throw in the like really really cold entirely. time during the winter, and then uh, that keeps me warm enough for 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 what I have to do. You know, sometimes I'll have to. I don't I don't turn my heat on even in the uh, in the, even in the winter. My heat does not go on. Um, cause I just like in my opinion, I'm just like, yo, if you're cold, just like throw another blanket on. <laughs> like you don't need to have the heat on if it's just like you know minus five minus six even maybe minus ten at times like not necessary to to be turning the heat on in my opinion just just put on more clothes um but uh yeah so i uh, i just i just throw on another blanket and that keeps me keeps me warm enough throughout the winter worst case scenario won't be super super warm but um, you know, I just kind of make myself, you know, roll myself up to a ball, cocoon myself up in the blankets, and, and I'm like, I'm cozy, dude. It doesn't matter how cold it is out there, I am cozy. Now, it does matter, because it could it could be like, you know, minus 30 or something like that. At that point, like, yes, I'm going to turn the heat on, okay? But then we don't get that kind of weather here, okay? So it's, it's fine. Um, anyway. No. Um... What sucks right now is that uh, my light blanket plus my medium blanket, or my, my light blanket plus my throw, which is not a medium blanket, but kind of a heavy blanket, but just a small heavy blanket, okay? It's not, it doesn't add up to like a medium blanket, it adds up to like a heavy blanket that just has a lot more... Not not as not as tight of a seal around me, so there's a lot more thermal loss. So it feels colder, but the the blanket itself is not. Uh, you know, any part that is covered is is very very warm, right? It's just that I can't cover everything with it because it's quite small, um, and I spread out quite a lot when I'm sleeping. Um, anyway, um, so I've been, I've been kind of upset about it lately because. I need I need a, I need a I need a proper medium blanket, you know, something for the uh, for the current weather, because we're good, we're about to start getting a little bit colder, and uh, I'm gonna start popping over to my heavier blanket. But like I don't like to switch to the heavy blanket until it's like we're committed, you know. I'm this is this is my new blanket, and we're this is the one we're using. I don't like to to make that switch until then, because in my opinion, I. Switching back and forth between the blankets is just a pain in the butt. Pulling another blanket over top of me, like pulling the throw over top of me, not that big a deal. Um, so I don't, I don't like to switch between the the light and the heavy blankets until it's, you know, definitely done with the, with the old blanket, and then we pull out the new one, wash it, and put the old one away, and you know I don't have to keep them both out and keep them both clean at one time. I, I can just kind of keep them separate and uh, spray about one of them at a time, right? Just it's easier that way, um, and uh, I just, I need I, I feel like I need a medium blanket. I feel like I need a medium blanket just to uh, to handle the uh, the intermediary period between just after fall started when I start to use the uh, when I start to use the um, the throw more often, and uh, to handle. Like up until when I when I want to switch to the, the heavy blanket, because it's only like a, a month long period of time, 
But it's a month long period of time that is consistently uncomfortable for me. And that's a problem that I want to fix, you know? So I want to I want to just get a medium blanket, but I'm not sure uh, what blanket I want to get. I'm not sure like, you know, how, how heavy do I need it to be? How warm do I need it to be? Exactly what dimensions does it have to be? You know, what, what blanket exactly am I looking for here, you know? And I don't really know because there's a whole bunch of different uh, possibilities there. And I mean, which one's exactly the correct one? I mean, who can who can say, right? I'd have to get it and find out, like, no, this one's still a little bit too heavy, or, no, nah, this one's just right, you know? Bop. And bop. I never bash. I go, I've gone, like, so long between using bashes. It's, like, such a useful thing to have, but I just, I never use it, dude. I never use it. Anyway, so that's, that's my blanket story. It's been, uh, it's been bothering me. You know, when I'm, uh, when I'm tired... So when I'm on my phone, my um, I'm not able to type very well on on a phone. I like on a keyboard, I can type you know 140, 150, 160 words per minute even if I'm uh, if I'm really trying. Keyboard, proper keyboard, like I got it, I got it covered. On a phone, not a chance. I I, I can't type very fast. I can't type very well. I can't type very accurately. Okay, even even in the at the best of times. Like, my typing on uh, on a phone falls behind a little bit. I'm not sure if it's because uh, I have poor motor skills or whatever. Um, I doubt it. But uh, on a phone, I can't really... Uh, I'm, I'm not really able to type, right? Like, it's not really a thing that I can do so well. Um, so when I'm on a phone, my typing falls to a, uh, to, to a pretty low degree. And it, it takes a lot of, of effort for me to be able to... Um, appear like I'm I'm talking and know what I'm saying. And when I'm like awake, if I'm, if I'm awake sitting on the toilet or, or sitting upstairs on the couch or something like that and I have to talk on my phone, I will correct mistakes that pop up and I will go a little bit slower and, and make sure that, uh, that things end up working out just fine. When I'm tired, that goes away. And I stop caring about being correct. I stop caring about grammar. It's gone. Like the the very essence of feelings, of emotions, of whatever it is that's making me normally care about having words look like words is gone. And uh, I just I basically just hit the keys close to the ones that I want to hit on the phone, and I, I hope that autocorrect figures out what the heck I'm trying to say and for the most part it actually does but sometimes it doesn't or it'll autocorrect to something else which can't really blame autocorrect for it cuz um you know what actually hold up let me let me let me see if I can find let me see if I can find uh, a, th a thing here Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Okay, okay. Can I share this? Can I share this? Yes, I can I can share this. Okay, so we're gonna Can I? Excuse me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can share this. Here it is. So you can see, this is me trying to say SMH. Okay? This is me trying to say I'm super tired. I got it right this time. I actually got this one done, which was like very good. Um, you know, blanket got autocorrected to Blackberry. Blank crit. And then this is what happens when autocorrect just doesn't take over. That's pretty much what all of this looked like. If I hit space at the end of this, like the B's here are typically me trying to hit space and just not hitting space and hitting B instead. If I hit space at the end of this, it probably actually would have auto-corrected to I don't have a medium blanket. It probably would have gotten it right, which is incredible that like auto-correct can figure out what the heck I'm trying to say there. Um, and also kind of sad that 
I can get to the point where that's how competent I can type. That I wasn't drunk. I was genuinely just tired. That was uh that was Tuesday, after I'd finished streaming or after I'd finished uh, getting all the recording done. I was tired. I was in pain. I was uncomfortable. I had already hopped into bed and uh, committed to going to sleep. In fact, I was asleep before um the Aggie guy there had uh, mentioned me and um woke me up and so i was like i was just waking up after like you know five minute nap or whatever and uh my my ability to to communicate it's gone <laughs> like that's 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 how competent i am when i'm uh, when i'm tired i'm like about as good as a five-year-old drunk one like drunk drunk kid you know like you give a five-year-old some some alcohol and that's that's about what you can expect from me when i'm lying in bed on my phone when I'm tired. Not very good. Anyway, I, uh... My friends get a laugh out of it at times. Friends get a, get a good chuckle out of it. I hope you guys get a chuckle. I get a chuckle out of it as well. For sure. I mean, it's funny, right? But that's, 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 like... For, for some reason, when I'm, when I'm tired, when I'm lying in bed like that... The, the, the bits that say this isn't an okay sentence to send are gone. You know, the parts of my brain that control whether or not I, uh, I hit the, the send button, they're gone. <laughs> they're, they're, they're replaced with the, yes, this is okay. Um, synapse firing, you know, the, 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 it just, it all gets messed up in there and, uh, I end up just not looking like a fool, but looking like a fool, you know, which is, uh, which is good fun in my opinion. I mean, people laugh at it. I laugh at it. We all laugh at it. Everybody has a good time, you know? Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.